The United Nations International Day of Older Persons takes place on the 1st of October, which is today yearly, with the aim of highlighting opportunities and challenges faced by the elderly. Now, this year's theme is Aging with Dignity, the importance of strengthening care and support systems for older persons worldwide. All right, Sudu Milan, good evening. My name is Tabo Molokwane. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight, we shine the spotlight on our elders in the community at large and seek to understand their challenges. Now, joining us this evening to kickstart the conversation is the Department of Social Development's Chief Director of uh, Professional Support and Older Persons, Sibyl Lohodu. She joins us uh, this evening via Zoom to unpack this. Uh, Ms. Lohodu, much appreciated for joining us this evening. Welcome to the show. Good, good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much for inviting the department to be part of this critical engagement on this International Day of Older Persons. Much appreciated. I mean, let's uh, kickstart the conversation by just maybe talking more about, uh, uh, you know, uh, giving a better understanding of the significance of International Day of Older Persons. Uh, indeed, this is a very significant day, um, a day on which, as a department, we pause to join the globe to really reflect in terms of uh, the contributions that our older persons have made uh, within their own families, within communities that they live in, and you know, within the society at large. But we also pause to acknowledge, you know, that there are challenges that confront this cohort of our population. And also we take this opportunity to sort of look at uh, the challenges that are confronting our older persons and confronting them on a day to day basis and start really focusing on elevating and creating awareness around these kinds of challenges, as well as um, some reflections, of course, on how best can we also address these kinds of challenges that are confronting our older persons, specifically issues around the strategies that we employ as a department, together with our stakeholders and key partners who are there to contribute to the successful delivery of services to our older persons in general. Mm. Let's talk about uh, your role, Ms. Lohodi, as, uh, you know, as the Department of Social Development, particularly in taking care of the elderly uh, in the country. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, there are challenges there and there, but, uh, uh, you know, um, it is also your prerogative as the Department of Social Development in this regard. Yes, indeed, you are correct. And I, I just need to indicate that, uh, you know, um, as a department, we are in fact the lead department that takes responsibility for the provision of services to older persons within the country. And uh, at this stage, we have 5.6 million older persons in the country. And um, the department takes the lead in terms of, uh, you know, developing the legislative frameworks as well as the policies the related strategies, the protocols and the guidelines that assist in terms of guiding everyone within the sector and beyond in terms of the processes to follow in making sure that a comprehensive basket of services continue to be provided to our older persons at all times. So today, as we, we, we engage with you, we, we engage with you on the basis of a theme that has been specifically targeted for this particular year, which puts more emphasis on aging with dignity and uh, also the strengthening of care and support systems for older persons worldwide. And in this regard, you know, I, I really want to say the department has done quite well in terms of uh, making sure that we respond positively to strengthening care and support to our older persons. And we have a very progressive legislation as a department. And we have recently also 
paused to reflect on the impact of this legislation that we have been implementing since 2010. And to that effect, we facilitated a review process that um, is currently assisting us in terms of picking up on the gaps in terms of implementation. And we are now responding to those gaps through mm -hmm. this review process. And um, we are at a stage where we have collected all the views from our key stakeholders and our older persons themselves through a um, very extensive process that we embarked on on public hearings through the public hearings working very closely with the portfolio committee on social development so these are some of the roles and responsibilities that uh, the department embarks upon to make sure that services to older persons are indeed you know provided in the appropriate manner we also work with the various government departments to ensure that there is proper coordination and uh, provision of services. So as a lead department that, that takes responsibility for the development of the legislation, we also work and guide, you know, um, we also work with and guide our key stakeholders in terms of the approaches that uh, need to be adopted in terms of um, the provision of services, but also making sure that they do so in alignment with their core mandates so that we can collectively contribute to the comprehensive provision of such a basket of services. Mm. And we also take responsibility for the registration of um, uh, organizations that provide services to older persons, and we ensure that those organizations are also monitored at all times and that they submit their reports to the department uh, annually so that uh, there is you know a sense of accountability at all times so these are some of the key things that um, you know the department takes responsibility for as a lead department mm -hmm. in the provision of services to older persons Melehodu, we're going to take a quick break when we come back i want us to reflect on some of the key challenges i mean you've highlighted uh, important aspects, uh, you know, that uh, as the department you are doing in order to provide the necessary support to uh, the, uh, the the elderly persons there. I want us to reflect on the key issues and challenges that you've uh, observed. I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of, uh, you know, incidences happening on social media, young people assaulting also the elderly. Uh, you know, I just want to get your take on that when we come back after the ad break. Our guest this evening is Cyril Lohodu, who is the Department of Social Development's Chief Director of Professional Support and Older Persons. She joins us via Zoom as we recognize International Day of Older Persons today. We continue the conversation right after the ad break. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching. So it's today. Much appreciated for joining us this evening. Now, before the end break, we started the conversation on elderly people and the issues concerning them as we recognize International Day of Older Persons. Today, we continue the conversation with our guest this evening. That's the Department of Social Development's Chief Director of Professional Support and Older Persons, Sibyl Lohodu. She continues to join us uh, via Zoom uh, this evening. Uh, Melahodu, much appreciated for staying on. I mean, before uh, the ad break, we got a sense of uh, the department's understanding of some of the challenges and issues faced by elderly people. I mean, as so today, we spoke to a number of elderly people to hear from them what challenges they are facing and what would they like, you know, uh, to have, uh, you know, also to be listened to. And maybe you can give us uh, your response to, to some of um, uh, the things that uh, they said uh, to us. Let's take a look. Abantuana <laughs> Abantu apa baya fa kubula wa wongumtu na banda ba dala na banda ba dala baya zungula baya bula kona apimtole. Lita ba pushoka hololoe kit kit le hona kit lega taxi hona jala kitamu. Le boka ri taxi le hona jwa tuwe loka ba kushumi. Ba ba kuvela fela kari taxi tu tabano banarle resna bo hona bo bahori 
re ka ka makolojar tsa botsa rona then re ba re khobela dikolong tsa bona tse re ke tse ha go no mo fumana taitse batho ka bo 18 karatiks ke tle ka tiks mesi pale mesi batho ka 18 ona jwa re go seng ha ke tsa mo then eh ba ba e me ka mahoto o ka iputsa re ha ha accident e ka tsana ho tlhoetsa la mo re na le foma ntse re sena mtlakase ana ho ba tsa tshe ha go khono le wetsa next re patetse tshelete ya eskom e ba tlileng mara ba khono go thutsa ke ona challenge ya pele re na le ona challenge ya bi thue re na le ona mo Orlando mo ha maponesa ka zama o tshwara ba shimane ba ba bitsang bo nyaope ba se ke ba ba tloela ha motshwere a se ka ba re ke nyaope ba motloela because re ba lahlelwa ke di dustbin re lahlelwa ke di teaspoon ya teaspoon wa le teki la o hlapile o hlatsitse le ona ya lahlela ene na khona ma se sifuya ku la ma clinic ethu sifuya nga bo njanga la mhlanje ngifuyela ngo ba fa six ba kalo go go se attenda maybe ngabo pass eight and ke ba nga ba ke ya banda amakhaza sifuka emakhazeni njo ba se fika la ema clinic njo ba ama sister zona ya phuma ya ngena even na ma toilet na manje ni ngena ni yo check wonke ma toilet wa sevens and it nas phuza ma ma phuza ya ma police ya high blood wona lo yo toilet Inte ngas party kahle la emthola mpilo yethu nje basi vota basi vota basi tshela 1 2 3 yikho loko ngikhala ngako ke me Melehoru uh, having listened to the issues raised would you say that enough is being done at the moment to truly offer elderly people support i mean there, those are you know quite an array of issues that have been raised by uh you know elder persons that we spoke to as the show that i mean what's your response to that uh, i fully i fully hear what they are saying and i need to also indicate to you up front that these challenges have been brought to the attention of the department earlier on i spoke about the collaborative approaches and engagement with various other government departments to ensure that we provide a comprehensive basket of services to our older persons so they are correct they have in fact through the public hearings reported the same matters that they have shared with you recently as we were doing the provincial rounds to hear them out on on the legislation that we are um currently just about to conclude on so they raised these issues and they are indeed correct so it is on that basis that uh, once we heard these concerns we went back to the portfolio committee as various government departments with each government department going back to respond to these kinds of challenges that impact on them for example on the issues of queues the issues of um, uh, medication and the waiting periods at health facilities The Department of Health has uh, indicated its strategy to address that including the shortage of medication and the backs and forths that we find our older persons sometimes having to make at such facilities before they can in fact receive their treatments for a particular period of months and um, in terms of uh, the impact of substance abuse we have also noted that uh, what the older persons have just raised relating to that it is indeed a challenge for 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 our older persons and we are seeing that uh, the issues of um including the issues of abuse as well as killings of older persons we have noted that uh, the younger generation also contributes to such circumstances which impact negatively on older persons and in the past we are all aware of the fact that the uh, grandchildren used to bring joy uh, the way of older persons but nowadays it's no longer the the situation in fact the family as a unit has changed very very much so you find that uh, because of the family setups um the the structure of the family is no longer very strong in the past there used to be extended families that would be available to also support and assist and all those kinds of uh, uh, support would then enable people and and the family in general to be able to you know um effectively provide care to older persons but mm, yeah. this is not the case at this mm. point in time Mele, so you, um, as, as, as that, um, yeah as we wind down the conversation sorry to interject there because we are running out of time 
I, I, I wanted to check now what happens, um, you know, are there any mechanisms in place uh, from the Department of Social Development to address the issues? Because we understand the issues that you're saying that, look, we've noted the concerns, but I mean, the key issue is implementation here. Uh, we're talking 30 years yes. since the dawn of democracy, but uh, at this stage, people are still complaining about the same issues. Are there solutions that you have for us? Yes, like I indicated, we have adopted a collaborative approach to the management of these issues where the Department of Health has got to correct certain issues. They are coming up with strategies to deal with such issues. Um, issues of queues, for example, our legislation is very, very clear in terms of uh, the fact that uh, older persons are not supposed to queue. As we conclude on this legislation that I'm talking about, we are also going to come up with regulations. Within those regulations, we will be clarifying and outlining all key roles and responsibilities of key partners as well as stakeholders that have got a responsibility and a contribution to make towards the provision of services to older persons. Where specifically within a particular province, uh, uh, certain responsibilities lie with the office of the premier. We will outline such responsibilities where the responsibilities lie with the office of the MEC will do so, where the heads or authorities of various government departments take responsibility will also do so. But we will also, beyond that, be conducting training sessions to make sure that everyone understands their roles and their contributions in terms of making sure that we address all these, in, mm. these issues. But I need to also indicate that we do have strategies and we have programs and we also do have uh, services that are being provided to our older persons on a day to day basis. And we engage with critical, you know, uh, key players in the space to make sure that uh, we do respond to all the issues that our older persons are raising. And of course, um, we might not be able to make, you know, um, the impact at expected levels and depths. Like I was saying, we are now having um, a growing number of older persons. Po population aging has also become a reality for South Africa. And um, based on that, we need to come up with uh, improved strategies and mechanisms that are going to enable mm -hmm. us to effectively and fully so respond to the needs of older persons as population aging occurs, because now Mele, we used never to yeah. have people living beyond the age of 121. But Mele, we are now having yeah. centenarians. We need to start planning for them. Mele, so, Hodu, you um, know, people... Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but uh, I appreciate uh, uh, your uh, explanation on some of the issues that uh, uh, you are providing support to, especially some of the concerns that have been raised by the elderly. Much appreciated for joining us. Unfortunately, that's where we're going to leave it with you there. That is uh, Sybil Lohodu, the Department of Social Development's Chief Director of uh, Professional Support and Older Persons uh, joining us to give us insights from the department as to where they stand on some of these issues. We're going to take a quick ad break. When we come back, we continue the conversation. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are getting closer to the end of the show, but we continue the conversation on issues affecting the elderly as we commemorate International Day of Older Persons recognized today. We now switch gears to speak further on the human rights issues that are faced by the elderly people and how we can further assist them to ensure that they age with dignity and have the relevant support that they require. Let's bring in Samantu Mwambeki, who is the uh, South African uh, Human Rights Commission from the South African Human Rights Commission in Gauteng Province. There is the provincial manager. Zama, much appreciated for joining us. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us again. Um, look, Zama, um, uh, you know, your work is broad when it comes to, you know, the South African Human Rights Commission. There's quite an array of issues that you 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 know um, deal with uh, on a daily basis but uh, now we are talking elderly persons and stuff let's talk about your work when it comes to uh, this aspect thank you um yes so uh, we do a lot of work in this in this space because um older persons as a category um, of people have been identified as a vulnerable group 
So in terms of the different mandates of the commission, whether it is protecting their human rights or even doing promotional work so that they understand their human rights, as a commission, we are mandated to engage and make sure that uh, members of the elderly community or older persons feel uh, that they are protected in, in their everyday life. Mm. I mean, Zama, what are some of the human rights, uh, you know, issues that uh, the community needs to take into consideration when engaging with the elderly? I mean, we've been seeing quite a lot of issues on social media. I mean, recently, that 19-year-old uh, from the Western Cape who abused, uh, you know, his grandmother there, I mean, quite shocking. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's something that uh, one wouldn't expect to happen, especially uh, from, uh, you know, uh, a person who's raising that young person. I think one of the things we first have to always um, acknowledge in this situation is that every right that affects you and I affects an older person, but in a much worse way, because you and I still have the ability to advocate for ourselves. We can still participate in, um, in, in uh, on social media to vent. We can still walk easily to the police station to go and lay a complaint. So older people are then um, affected that because of their age they are unable to access resources in the same in the same way yet because of their age they need um, more access to healthcare services they need better protection from the south african police services etc and even uh, some some people don't even think about it the right to education also applies to older people because older persons because they still have that right and the ability to learn more and better themselves. So I think what becomes an issue for all the persons is the fact that they cannot access in the same way as everybody um, the services that they need. And it becomes very important for us that, um, that they are given that opportunity and the platform to advocate for themselves. Mm. Uh, Zama, uh, uh, as Soweto today, we spoke to some elderly people earlier on, you know, in the community mm. to find out what they would like to see being yeah. done to further assist them. And, uh, you know, this is what they had to say. Let's t take a listen to what they had to say to us. When it comes to the community, social development, whatever this government of unity, I keep on it's because of interceding at the carrier we are going back to apartheid, or maybe it's a little more apartheid in our city. Because when I know so sketch or social development, it will be here about to pass at saving or save it about to pass at saving a community more than you land in. What you see, trying to be here about to pass even community, but okay, community and all the problem of your hope and then my police alone at all over at a mile or a guy you Kulisa <laughs> I mean, Zama, with what you heard, I mean, uh, you know, what are the ways that you can identify for the commission and members of the public to work together? And, uh, you know, are there any programs put in place from your side to cater for their needs? I mean, their concerns are very warranted. Uh, you know, we spoke to the Department of uh, Social Development earlier on, 
what I heard from them was that we are going to do this, but uh, you know, there is no actual plan for implementation when it comes to addressing these issues. What can we do to uh, you know, address uh, these concerns uh, for the elderly? There's a lot that can be done, particularly at the, com uh, at the community level, whether the commission is there or the commission is not there. There's so many um, organizations that even the commission works with in, at the communities which cater um, for all the persons in terms of uh, providing education, even recreational services for them, even as uh, people who are living, uh, for instance, at a home or those who are not, and therefore people are able to participate in those activities. However, as I said, it's very also important that we allow when people want to advocate for themselves to speak for themselves. Safety for you and I is, yes, it's a great concern, but it's, a, it's even a greater concern when you can no longer defend yourselves. So we do need um, all of the uh, 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 South African police services, members of the community to also include um, all the peoples, whether we're talking about our policing forum, in our sankos, in all of the forums that form part of our communities, so that when people are also raising their concerns, they also have a platform um, um, in, um, um, in those communities. And there's an idea of excluding all the people because people think that, oh no, these people are going to delay us or they've got no opinions. But mm. we'll note that with the years that of, uh, of living and of working, there's a high level of information that is there. And it's very important that we incorporate everyone when we are showing we are doing community engagements because they form part of the community. Zama, much appreciated for joining us. Unfortunately, we've ran out of time, but uh, always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. That was uh, Zama Tungwa Mbeki, the manager in housing for the South African Human Rights Commission speaking to us more about the work that they do towards, uh, you know, assisting the elderly and community at large. Let me thank my earlier guest, Sivil Lehodu, the Department of Social Development Chief Director of Professional Support and Older Persons for joining us this evening as we unpack uh, issues related to the elderly uh, persons in the country. On that note, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. Feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at Soweto Today at Soweto TV. Today. Call us or WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. Bye, so Yarona Iwedi to Mosatin La Hompion, Kitabomolokwani, and the rest of the team. It's good night from us, and thank you for watching.